You can inflate a balloon in three seconds, four seconds, I understand. How long is it going to take these kids with no experience? We're figuring that they'll do about two to three balloons a minute. I've been doing this since I was 15 years old, so it's unfair to compare. But uh, two to three balloons a minute, each kid is going to do uh, correctly about 700 balloons or so. Uh, for the day, and, and we'll do it in about four to six hours, all the balloons. Don't remember, folks, don't park on the square because this ain't the place for your car this weekend. <laughs> Back to you. Sounds like fun, David. Thank you. I understand you. we might have a northerly wind, too, so they'll all wind up over Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, live from downtown Cleveland, it's Big Chuck and Little John in front of the biggest happening around. Okay, thank you, John. And we have a, a real story to tell you. This is not, we're not making this up. It's really happened. Mary Ellen bought two bunches of balloons to give to John and I here. She came down, and one of the bunches of balloons she had tied to her watch. And the watch opened up, and uh, the balloons took the watch, and it's now going out east somewhere. So John and I say, if anybody finds Mary Allen's watch tied to a bunch of balloons like this, and if you return it to the station, we'll have all kind of rewards for you. Okay, thanks for coming down, Mayor. Uh, Who do you have there, John? What is your name? Tanya Pierce. Okay, Tanya, show everybody what you have on your hands there. What are those? Let's say bandages. Okay, and what are they for? They're for getting away from sores, sores from your hands. Okay, did you get any blisters? Yeah, three. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Chuck, as you can see, they're going strong. They're blowing them up. I still think they have the record. Back to you, Chuck. Something that uh, has been in the planning stages since March of this year. So a lot of technical research and research through the city permits. Uh, it's endless. It's absolutely astonishing to try and get something like this off, let alone waiting for good weather. So this is a big plus for Cleveland. Oh, it's something that, you know, they predicted 70% chance of showers today, and I think this is a prime example of what United Way is trying to do in terms of saying, it's Cleveland, it's your time. It's time to say yes. It's time to say it is a happening city. We are on the move. It's no longer the butt of jokes or anything. I've been in this city now for six months, and I absolutely love it. You know, my wife and I have even talked about moving here, and our friends in L.A. think we're nuts. But it is a wonderful place. If I had money to invest, this is where I'd be invested. In. Very, very good. Very good Thank, you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Now, we were just talking. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here Take they go. Away, lift off. Amazing. And the fan is up. And there they go, John. World records has just been broken in Cleveland. Over 1,500,000 balloons going up in the air at this very, very moment. Look at the crowd go! We did it! We did it, John! Here it goes! It's completely covering the terminal tower. Oh, look at that! I want to sing up, up, and away! <laughs> it is awesome, ladies and gentlemen, to actually be down here and see the multicolors that are going up in the air at this moment. It, this is it! Let's do it for Cleveland! Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no mistake on the lake anymore. Cleveland has now broken the Guinness Book of World Records and released over 1,500,000 balloons. Think of, think, think of that, Chuck. The Guinness Book of World Records, the Cleveland home of the home of the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. All of this in Cleveland, Ohio. The All American City. How many events can we can we take over in 1986? Yeah. It's been an exhausting search for these Coast Guardsmen. They've been out on the water most of the day looking for two 40-year-old Cleveland men, Skip Sullivan and Raymond Broderick. They went out fishing about an hour before last night's heavy storm blew through. This is their boat, a pair of life jackets still in it, along with a hat and a fishing pole. The boat's motor is gone. Its sides are battered, apparently from pounding all night against this section of the break wall off Edgewater Park. That's where the Coast Guard found the boat about 8.30 this morning. Ironically, 
That big balloon launch in Cleveland today is one of the things that's making this search so tough for the Coast Guard. Can you imagine trying to find somebody floating out here or even spotting a life jacket with all these balloons on the water? It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack here because you're, you're looking for more or less a head or an orange life jacket. And here you have a couple hundred thousand uh, orange, orange balloons and it's just hard, hard to decipher which is which. Because of weather, 60% of the balloons launched landed here instead of the planned 10%. Many of them were found on Lake Erie. But the balloons that covered the lake and caused concern on Saturday are no longer here today. No one's quite sure where they went, but at least they're no longer posing a threat to fish and wildlife, and they're not littering the lake. Michelle Holden, Live on 5.